So a cervical check is a test that a women's health provider will do during your pregnancy to see how dilated the cervix is, meaning how big the opening of the cervix is, as well as the cervical effacement, which means how thin the cervix has become. So reasons to have a cervical check includes during your prenatal visits, if you're having specific symptoms that you're reporting to your provider, if there is concern of preterm labor and we need to rule out preterm contractions or during active labor to monitor the progress of your labor. There are a lot of reasons why your provider may need to do this exam, and it really depends on your specific circumstances. How often a cervical exam will happen really depends on what exactly is going on. It is not a routine exam during your prenatal visits. So if your provider is recommending that you have a cervical exam, don't hesitate to ask why and what the indication is because you can sometimes forego a routine cervical check. During labor, the frequency of a cervical exam just really depends on how quickly you are progressing. If there are concerns with baby's heartbeat on the fetal monitor, sometimes we do have to check more frequently because changes in baby's heartbeat can indicate that you might be closer to pushing than you previously thought. Here I have this board that shows how dilated your cervix gets during active labor. So if we look at the smallest hole here, this is one centimeter. As a provider, when I'm doing a cervical check, for me, it is one finger of the opening of the cervix. By 10 centimeters, what we're really feeling is just baby's head and we are feeling no cervix at all surrounding the baby's head. We use our fingers in the distance apart to help assess and evaluate how dilated your cervix is. So at two centimeters, that's usually about two fingers for me. At four centimeters, there's a little bit of space between the fingers, seven centimeters is a bit wider, and by 10 centimeters, no cervix can be felt. So during a cervical check, you might feel a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pelvic pain. Sometimes it might feel like menstrual cramps, but it really, really varies from person to person. Something that's really important to understand with cervical checks is make sure that your provider is explaining to you the indication, the reason for the cervical exam. You can always decline an exam if you feel that it is not really necessary. 